Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's time. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video and a lot of you have been talking about this situation. So, I thought I would put my tuppence worth in and see what we can come up with because when I first heard about this, I was like okay well is it people being overreacting right because sometimes people do and i thought i'll have a look into it see what i can find out and see what the situation is and yeah i would have to agree i think it's pretty poor right mainly because it's involving disability and if it had been involving just basically using somebody's fast pass and just nipping in yeah, I don't think there would have been too much of an uproar about it. But if you're not, not sure what I'm talking about, the Inghams have recently met up with some friends slash IFAM at Disneyland Paris and have been using their uh, fast passes, annual passes or their disability priority passes, right? So let's have a look at this. What happened when I was on the ride? Edmund started brushing her hair. <laughs> Let's move brush it fine, whatever. <laughs> That's just me in the last 30 minutes of life. What she's about these days, isn't she brushing her hair on a ride? Brushing her hair, lip gloss, makeup. Anyway, we're currently fast passing it on um, Big Thunder Mountain. Jace, come here. Are you excited? You're going Big Thunder again? Yeah! You haven't been on this since the summer. No. When you did it for the first time. And now we're going to go on it again. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm, 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 well, because we've just met up with some friends who have fast passes. They have annual passes, so they have fast pass for rides. So, which is something we are investing in next year. Because we, when you come more than twice per year, or if you come at least twice a year, which we do, um, then an annual pass is well worth it, and you get so many discounts and benefits for it. But we just linked up with our friends who have annual passes, so we're skipping all the queues right now and going on the big yeah. on mountain. <laughs> oh, well, look at that straight on, literally within a second. Wait, where do you want to go, Alice? So that was Chris walking through the entrance for the disabled access on Big Thunder Mountain. Now to prove that that is exactly what they were doing and the access that they actually took, we're going to take a quick look now at the entrance to Big Thunder Mountain and the disabled access. And the disabled access is in fact by the exit so where people are coming off the ride that's where you have to enter if you are using your disabled your priority access pass for disabled to get you onto the ride quicker now so it's important to note that the priority access for disabled people is a very important thing if you are disabled and you are unable to get onto rides easily, then it is a life, you know, it's a lifesaver basically. And as you can see, this is the the entrance for the priority access. Uh, it's labelled all the way along through throughout with the disabled signs, so you can tell that you are on the right track. And as we'll see in a minute, Chris is. Um, taking this exact route i mean the one thing i would note here is that this is in daylight when chris went it was a bit darker so it's harder to see but we'll try and sort that out in a second so this is chris again going down the the entrance and i've enhanced the picture so you can see it's a bit lighter now and what we can notice here about this it looks very similar to the one we've just seen um, now if we look at this um, this handrail and turn into the right we can see the exact same thing on the the one the example we've just seen as well that's clearly where they're walking right now now you probably don't need me to go into so much detail about you know whether or not he's going down this particular path now i want to just make it clear that this is the the actual access he's taken he's not going down the actual main queue and the fast pass queue he's not going down either 
Now, there is a reason why I want to point that out, and I'll show you in a second. One more thing I will point this out, though. Right here is like a bench that you can see that Chris is walking past right there. And then on the main example, we can see on the left hand side here is the same bench and that pretty much confirms that they are in fact going down the priority access lane in order to get ahead of everybody else to go on the ride before everybody else. Now, just as one more example, This here is the Premier Access, right? Also known as the Fast Lane Access. So if he was going down the Fast Lane as he, you know, the Fast Pass Access, as he said he was doing, it would be this particular access he would take, not the one that he did take, right? And the Premier Access is the Fast Lane. Now, as you can see, it is a wash with things like step and things like that you know the things that disabled people can't access easily because they have steps well this is the designated fast pass lane and they definitely absolutely did not uh, walk up steps as you saw in the clip on the vlog so you may be wondering why am I going to so much trouble to prove that they did in fact go down that lane and not the other one and that is because it's important to note the difference between a premier access fast pass that Chris claimed that they were using and a disabled access priority card that they actually used right so it's important to note that they were using a disabled pass and not a premier access pass okay that's an important uh, distinguished because as i said earlier it might not be so bad well actually it probably wouldn't be any big deal if they'd use their their friends's fast pass right because I'm, I'm sure most people do it all the time however using somebody for their disabled access is a little bit more you know it's not nice i think we can all pretty much agree with that but we're walking into studios today and um, we're actually linking up with some friends who have annual passes for here and fast passes now as i said he's made the point of saying that his friends have fast passes and in actual fact that's not true they have disabled passes however i suspect if he'd mentioned that he they were using disabled passes that would be um more controversial and he knows it so we're hoping to get some serious ridage done today no that's jason, right no yeah we're taking jason Milo onto the little well, oh, sorry onto the little kiddo ride yeah, so the girls the, big, the girls are all heading off yes. yeah they're, they're doing like crutches coaster the usual stuff that is ridiculous waiting time and, stuff like that. and it's important again to note the fact that they are doing things specifically that would be a redonkulous amount of time to wait as chris says now the problem here is not that again that you know because technically speaking it may be it's a gray area i believe i understand that with a priority access pass it enables the disabled person plus four other people and those four other people should be within the party which you are and usually the party is your family however the inghams are not their family as much as they want to be a part of your family they're not i know i touched on this briefly yesterday but we've after speaking to our friends basically about annual passes and stuff i think we're definitely going to get some for next year Watch out. if you come more than once basically then you've, you've made your money back and it's worth it and the, you get things like you get fast passes, you get discounts in all the shops and restaurants. Yeah, it turns out to you, you get, yeah. But you get some serious perks that would, um, including free camping and free parking here, which would be perfect for us. You know, like if it was like a Friday night and we were all just like, should we go to Disneyland for the weekend? Just pile in the van and off we go. It'd be kind of like a cheap weekend, other than the ferry or tunnel cost, obviously. But it's a cool idea to look into anyway. So this is the 
annual pass that their friends have they have a gold pass now it's important again to note that this is separate to the priority access slash disabled pass right um a gold pass for the annual pass is what you pay per year enabling you to come again and again and again as many times as you want uh, to disney right and uh, this costs 45 euros per month um after an initial payment of 204 euros or 699 euros per year as a single payment now for that you get unlimited access to both disney parks free parking now that comes with conditions i believe i think there's a supplementary charge for those with motorhomes right so that's important for somebody like chris to note 15 percent discount in disneyland paris shops and restaurants and then free annual photo pass and extra magic time so those are the perks no fast passes included right <laughs> that's very very important to note that no fast passes are included in the price um i believe fast passes themselves on top of the annual pass is around about 100 to 160 euros on top so uh, that sorry that's for for one one person per person right so that is not what is happening here in their friend's case their friend have disabled passes because they have some form of disability right now without going into too much detail because it's none of our business it appears that all three that's the mum and their friends and the the brother of the friend is they all have some form of disability because they all have one of those sunflower lanyards on their pictures so that means that they all have a disabled pass most likely right but we're walking into studios today and um, we're actually linking up with some friends who have annual passes for here and fast passes so this is the disabled priority access pass that their friends have and it says as follows for guests with disabilities anyone who is officially registered as disabled accompanied by a maximum of four people for attractions and two people maximum for shows and parades so you can have one person plus four extras but it's generally for people within your party and not just random youtubers that you've met that day but um the girls are having an absolute blast because they're getting to do all the rides that usually have really big weights like crusher coaster and things multiple times because <clears throat> They're using the friends' passes. Oh, we just fast passed it on Buzz like yeah. Jace, Jace, are you ready to go shoot some aliens? Yeah! Yeah! Jace's favourite ride in the whole world. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've already shown multiple times that they've mentioned the fact they're using their friends' passes on the one vlog, in fact. That was so far. It's so clear to me that they are using their friends for these passes right they are so giddy about being able to use passes and get on first and and do all the things they can't usually do because they usually have to queue up like you know normal human beings but um yeah they've finally found some people with some use to them and they are now taking advantage of that use which is disgusting and if it wasn't disgusting enough, just listen to the next clip and make up your own mind. Okay, so the big girls have just gone on to Space Mountain. What are we doing, Jace? Going to double the ride to get a Whoa, that was very fast talking. Well, our friends have got annual passes, so they get 15% discount in the shops. So we thought we'd go look in Buzz Lightyear shop, buy a <laughs> yeah. little treat. What are you laughing at? Just rinsing them for all they've got. Just rinsing them for all they've got. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are you ready to go? Now, to me, that is absolutely disgusting. And fortunately for Chris and Sarah, I have the ability to separate, um, you know, certain 
aspects. Like, I can say that possibly he was joking, right? Possibly he was joking. However, even if he was joking, then it's still inappropriate to, to, to say and to leave in and mention in a vlog, you know, the fact that you're bragging that you are rinsing them for all they've got, right? It is disgusting. You know why it's disgusting, Chris, Sarah? It is because your friends have a need, right? They have need. They have a requirement for these cards, right? They do. It's an actual need, right? Now, you just popping along and saying, yeah, I want a 15% discount in the shop, you know, it's wrong and disgusting. And then for you to turn around and say, yeah, we're rinsing them for all they've got, it's just horrible. It really, really is horrible. And you know what else is horrible, in my opinion, right? If you had a friend and they were disabled, they had access to a discount because they're disabled, right? And they said, hang on, you know, choose whatever you want, you know, get something, get some discount, use my discount. Um, these who don't forget, don't know these people very well. Chris and Sarah do not know these people very well. Yeah, they may call themselves friends. They've met them a couple of times in the past, right? But you would turn around and you would say, no, it's okay. I don't want to to use your discount. You know, it's not appropriate. It's not right. I don't want to. It's fine. Thank you for the offer. No, it's, it's okay, right? But Sarah and Chris, they do not have the ability to do that. And I just find that disgusting. What? It was determined he wanted that again. Oh my goodness, And days. I just thought, do you know what? Yeah. Me, look, I just play with the other one. They both play together because he got that in some of Yeah, true. Look what we got, Mila. Using the discount to such a degree that she's actually bought Jace a toy, which he already owns, because she's getting 15% off it. She would not have bought that at all if she was paying for it herself. Well, she was paying for it herself, sorry, just clarify. I assume they are paying for it themselves, but they are getting money off from it. So there's no way if she had to pay, pay, pay full price that she would have bought a second toy, the exact same one for the price. I assume it's quite a high price. Whoa. Hi. Show everybody what you got. Yeah. You ready? Go. Ready? Go. Uh, oh yeah. She's fast asleep right now, but we got oh, her sleeping dog. Oh, that's cute, man. That's really cute. Dog, you ready? lucky boy. So we weren't planning on doing this, but our friends have actually come for dinner with us tonight. They didn't have a reservation for here, so we had to like, when we came in, just extend it a little bit. And she said, "Come with them. Can we just go in with them?" And it luckily they managed to get us a table. So. The girls are now sat all the way down there. So just to complete the day, they end up going for a meal with their friends who didn't have a reservation with them, but they managed to get their their friends in on the the reservation so that they could get their fifteen percent discount off on the meal as well. It's just too much. There's so much that they're getting here that it. It's like that's their only focus it is they're getting this money off. They can do this. They can get this benefit. They are benefiting for all these things. Their kids are able to queue jump and all this off the back of some people who clearly have struggles and they are taking advantage of it. I said I was going to film everything that I'm getting, but I was so hungry, I, I got in and I've just eaten my chicken fajita, oh my god. It was a chicken wrap with cheese sauce, sour cream and guacamole, it was so good. So I've demolished that, I got a chicken barbecue on the bone, but it's okay, but it's a bit, you know, I've got some more chicken, I'm going to try this in a minute. And salmon. How good is the salmon from here, Mum? I've got loads of looks on my plate right now. Uh, the salmon from here is so good. It's like what me and Mum remember the most. It's so yummy. Yeah. 
Now, in my opinion, it seems very much like they've ordered more and there's a lot more food going on around that table than they usually would be should they have it be having to pay the full price but because it's discounted there seems to be a lot more food having been ordered what can you say? <laughs> why are you buzzing tonight cute <laughs> Isabel's been after this angel since she was about nine years old. I've, like, I've always Maybe made a nine. stitch when I was little. Yeah. But like, over stitch, I always wanted an angel. Why'd you never get angel first then? I don't know, last time we were here I got a stitch because he was really cute. Yeah, it was cute. But like, how long have I wanted an angel? A like, long when time. I was little, I, They're leaving us. Go on. I always wanted an angel today. Yeah, you did. And we got one today, and look how cute. We went in the shop, so I was buying Mila and Jace a little treat. And yeah. I was like, Isabel, what do you want, babe? She was like, I, was like I've all, she was like, I've always wanted, Isabel never ever ever accept, accept gifts. She was like, no, I, it's fine, I don't need nothing. It's fine. I'm like, Isabel. <laughs> she was like, well, I really like this angel. I was like, get it in the basket. And then we have Isabel who never ever ever apparently accepts gifts, but on this occasion, she needed to get it and Sarah needed her to get something because, you know, it was so cheap on this occasion because of the discount. I decided to make the most of the 15% off that we got in the shops today with the annual pass discount and I um, also bought a pack of princesses that I'm going to give to Jason and Mila when we get back to the cabin tonight. I say Jason and Mila because they'll play together with them. And Come on Mila! Isabel got like a angel and Jace got a buzz and I got a slinky and some princesses. I really am looking for a cute... There's a new baby called Wish. Yeah. And there's a little star in it, and it's so cute. It and is. That's what I'm looking for. For myself. That's what Isla's looking for. What are you looking? Are you on the hunt for anything, Esme? Um, um, and I really want a new uh, either a new ring. Yeah. Or a new necklace. Awesome. And yet again, she's asking, frantically asking, in my opinion, whether or not Isla and Esme, they need something themselves. You're looking for anything yourselves, girls, because, you know, we've got our 15% discount, you know, and they're treating it as if it's their own discount, when in actual fact it's not, is it? So this next clip is very indicative of their... <laughs> well what they're doing wrong basically it is when the kids are going to see the disney princesses uh, that's jason Mila went to see them and as we can see here they're queuing up and right there is the disabled badge right the disabled entrance badge that's what they're doing they're queuing up at the disabled access right and this is especially bad, right? Especially bad. Because as we can see from this next clip, this person stood right here behind the kids meeting the princesses. It appears to have one of those priority access passes attached to them, right? So this is most likely one of the, uh, the friends that they're with who has got them in through the disabled access point, right? And this is disgusting for the following reason. This person isn't there to see the Disney princesses, right? The disabled access is for people who want to do something that need help or need a need assistance or need just company whilst doing the thing that they want to do it's not there in order to get other people in quicker to see their thing that they want to do if you see what i'm saying so that is very much abusing the the card in itself and to be honest the person that's doing it really you can't have too many complaints when people um report it uh, because it is your responsibility to use the card in the the manner that you are given the card now there were quite a few comments and uh, chris and sarah replied to them so this was what happened on the vlogs somebody asked are you abusing the disability passes and one of their favorite i found replied i haven't watched it but i doubt very much they would you know commenting without watching it 
but uh, defending their favourites because, of course, Chris and Sarah would never, ever do anything remotely like that, ever. Which kind of blows my mind that they even think that, having watched them for that many years. A couple of other replies were, why would you say that? Stop being rude. And why are you so rude? <laughs> yeah, stop being rude, you know, calling people out for, you know, being uh, inappropriate with with the the things that they are doing you know that's clearly being rude so chris came back in here with um abusing disability passes what no our friends have fast passes and we've been tagging along with them which you are completely and legitimately allowed to do here in Disneyland. There's no wider conspiracy other than that. Sorry to disappoint. But here's the thing, Chris. They weren't fast passes. I don't know what you were told. <laughs> Although, um, given the amount of times you willingly went through the disabled access points, I would say that you knew exactly what you were doing. They were not fast passes at all. Fast passes, as I pointed out, cost up to 160 euros per person. And disabled access or disabled priority access cards are, you know, they're free. But they are there for a purpose. And that purpose is to help the less able-bodied or minded people to get around easier. Somebody replied to Chris and said, why did you enter Big Thunder Mountain through the step-free disability entrance then? If you're going to use someone's priority pass, be truthful about it. You don't get fast passes with an annual pass. You need to buy them individually. They're called Premier Access and you'd enter through the Premier Access queue, not straight through the exit. So that is exactly what I've been saying and that is spot on with um, you know everything that you need to know basically there was no reason whatsoever for Chris and his gang to to go through using the the disability access right none whatsoever and it's clearly what they did and another person replied as well, the Premier Access, aka Fast Passes, are €160 Euros per person during high season for one day. That is for one person. Annual passes do not include Fast Passes and never have done. Sorry, but there are some people who go to Disney more than you. You should really brush up on your Disney knowledge before attempting to lie about something you don't know. So yeah, as I'm trying to point out as well, these people here who are replying do actually know more about it than I do. I've had to read up and look up and um, research everything because as you know, I don't know shit about Disney, right? It's not my thing, but I am willing to call them out for the things that they are doing Chris replied, it's nothing about being truthful. It is a absolutely nothing to do with you or anybody else, whether or not someone with us had fast passes because they had a disability. None of your business. You are not entitled to know anything other than what we want you to know. Here's the thing, Chris. Uh, yes, I agree. It's none of our business whether or not people have disabilities. Absolutely not. I get you. I understand you. I'm on your side. <laughs> However, they don't have pa fast passes because they are disabled. That's not a thing, right? You either have a, have a pa fast pass, a premier access pass, or you have a disability pass, which is a priority pass, right? So it's one or the other. You don't have a fast pass because you're disabled, right? If you're using somebody else's disability and their disabledness, because to get you things for free or to get you faster access that's just that's nasty right these people of yours they are disabled right 
they have a disability, they have needs, and they are vulnerable, I would assume, right? Most people are vulnerable who follow you. Now, you are taking advantage of that vulnerability because of their idolization of you, right? He goes on to say, it makes absolutely no difference either whether we rode with a disabled friend on their pass or we didn't. What we did is A, none of your business and B, completely and utterly legit. Learn to mind your business and enjoy videos like this for what they are, not for what you assume you are entitled to know. See, here's the thing again, Chris, you're saying that it is it's okay, you can just do it, you know, you can ride on there. Um, their disability pass if they if you want to now the thing here is that I don't think you are allowed to it's in it's intended for their party not your party and you're not part of their party right you understand me yeah so there's that so it's legitimacy is um, questionable at best now one thing i would say is i've seen so many people have been reporting this thing to disney and chris you need to be ashamed of yourself because if this goes the way that people want it to go right it's not going to be you that gets into trouble it's not going to be you whatsoever right they're reporting the person who has done wrong and the person in this situation who has done wrong is your friends right they stand to lose their passes they stand to lose their priority access passes okay and that's on you if that happens i know you'll end up blaming the haters and the trolls and you know it's all their fault and that you know they've caused this and everything but it's you that's done this right you have taken advantage of them and put them in a position where they are being reported and this could really, really cost them because I have no doubt that they need those passes and you have put them at jeopardy. And that, Chris, you need to be ashamed of yourself for. Chris then goes on to say, all the complete and utter plebs making assumptions about disabled passes or whether or not we had someone disabled in our party. Right, first up, Chris, I would say um, calling somebody a pleb, you know, or your iFam, your lovely iFam who have supported you through thick and thin all through these years. Yeah, The actual term pleb means somebody of a lower class than yourself that's very big of you isn't it chris very big indeed so he goes on to say number one our friends have fast passes which they don't we've already proved they don't we were tagging along which you are completely and legitimately allowed to do no rule breaking or abusing any system going on here sorry to disappoint two why do people make comments about the people we ha we had with us like no one disabled was with them? I'm not saying anyone was, but how the heck would anyone know who was with us or what had what or who had what unless you were here with us? Shut up making dumb assumptions based on nothing but your malicious little mouths that really need to be shut up. Are you going to be the one to shut their mouths up, Chris? Are you? Are you? Well, that was um, interesting to say the least. What I want to say, right, because there are some people who will say, oh, yeah, but is it really that big a deal? Did they really do anything that big, right? Did they really do anything that major? And... The answer is yes, right? First up, if it had been a fast pass that they had abused, right? It wouldn't have been a big deal. People do it all the time. You'll let your friends use your pass, you know, get you on. Right? It's fine, no problem at all. What you're doing here, though, is you're abusing a disability perk, right? A, 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 something to help the disabled, right? It's in supposed to help people with a disability and you are taking advantage of that and using it purely so that you can get first on a ride and you don't have to queue up right so many perks isn't there but um what you're failing to see here chris is that these are actually 
there are actually other disabled people who may be affected because of things that you do and the fact that you get on first means that maybe another disabled person might not get on do you see what i'm saying and yeah so abusing the disabled is uh, clearly an issue and one of the biggest issues here the other big issue is abusing and taking advantage of your so-called friends because you are you know they're supposed to be your friends but you're taking them for all they're worth and in your words rinsing them for all they have right so that in itself is horrible it's really disgusting in fact and i i'm disgusted there's also a huge power dynamic going on here you are influencers right you have then taken it upon yourself to befriend ifam your fans you already have influence over your fans right that's a, a a big power dynamic i know you're used to power dynamics because uh, you know the, something happened to you a few years ago which you we're not going to go into right now but then you have even your 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 kids making friends with these people there's a power dynamic here the friend that esme is has befriended is actually younger than her therefore there's a power dy dynamic there then again esme's new boyfriend is is also a fan so it, there's also another power dynamic going on there it feels very much like you know this entire thing should not be a thing it can't be a thing because there's supposed to be boundaries when you're an influencer you're supposed to have boundaries and one of them is not getting involved with your fans and um yeah i think chris you again you know all about that don't you but <laughs> still not paying attention though i i notice anyway yeah that was um i hope i've got my points across i think i've made every point i wanted to make i hope i haven't missed anything out i hope i've come across in the way that i wanted to and shown all the clips that i had intended to and that you've understood what it is that i've tried to say and i've put it in some sort of coherent or order right so um if i haven't i do apologize i've tried my best here um if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below i'll try to answer them as best as i can 